Hey yo, what's good BP fam, what's good BP squad, it's your boy Kasone and I'm back again with another banger, you guys know how we do it here on the BP channel and guys you just have to forgive me because today I am excited, guys you feel me, I am good, yeah, honestly I cannot over emphasize that, for the past two days, uh, I haven't made any videos, I didn't make any videos on Saturday and Sunday and those days were like the first days I started this YouTube channel that I did not make any videos and that's because I was reviewing I was listening to what you guys had to say on like how we can make the channel better because you know you on the BP channel we're a family and we help each other out like I'm trying to figure out how to give you guys content that you deserve and so honestly I, I, I'm out of ideas sometimes so you guys should be able to like hit me up and say yo Chile yo Kasonde what's up check check this out like we feel you can do better with this and you guys really did do that so i'm really thankful and honestly i just had the break that i needed because this <laughs> this last weekend uh i was turned like ah my blankets that is anyway and anyway, i just had a good nap because yeah i was really taking this sort youtube thing seriously and i guess it has paid off at this point and i don't know i'm more Confident, so you should expect better content. Like I, I got you guys out to say I need better equipment. So I'm in my school campus right now, and I'm going to see a friend. Hey, that's why I tell you, don't mess with me. Don't mess with the BP squad. Don't, don't mess with the BP farm. Cause we'll do you nasty. You feel me? So my friend, uh, like knows. Let me understand an awful lot because you know he was being modest when he was explaining to me. He knows enough kung fu to beat away. <laughs> Just be careful when, when you want to mess with me. I mean, look at this thing, guys. This thing is not even that. But yeah, like I'm going there and you guys can keep me company. So like this is my school. Uh, I've never really been to this part of it and I didn't realize that this small place where people could just sit and relax. Please don't tell me this thing is locked. Because if it is, uh, uh, then that's going to be another problem. Is it? Please don't tell me it is. Uh. I think this whole thing just looks really good and nice on camera. Should have come here some some other times to see everything else up close oh I went to the I came to the wrong place here did I not should I go back or not what's up beauty squad to you guys in this video we have something that's very different for you because in this video guys as you have noticed by now and I'm sure you've already seen the title of this video actually doing something that's very different i know most of you are interested in knowing what kung fu is what martial arts we, we do practice in china and how those come about and honestly i'm not expert but i made it the point <laughs> we, we brought someone that's okay <laughs> don't mess with us okay don't mess with me so you know we have someone that's going to yeah like help explain everything and honestly maybe let's just get under because i honestly don't even know how to introduce this so today I'm joined by a very good friend and he's honestly going to introduce himself, where he's from and yeah, who, who, you understand as uh, the video goes on. So How's it been? Yeah. So yeah. Hello everyone. My name's Glory. Other people call me Yoshi. They enjoy calling me Yoshi. I do not know why. But you can call me Rogue. I prefer that. So yeah. Uh, the entire basis of the background story of this martial arts is not only for you to be fit but also for you to actually have the sense of self-defense. You never know what happens. It's not every place you go that has cameras around there to protect you and shit like that. Or in Zambia, you know that. We don't have like hazards. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're both from Zambia, so... <laughs> so that's the thing. Um, I started doing this 11 to 12 years ago.
me today is a very good friend of mine who I'm sure you've, you've got the introduction by now and I'm honestly no expert to any martial arts or anything but I know a lot of you are interested in martial arts because I've personally received requests from friends who are asking me about martial arts in China and you know it's, it's what we see on TV real and today I have just the person for you so guys let him give everything that we have to you. So we're here for you today. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just in brief, this is uh, Shotokan Karate. And I think it's the most offensive form of martial arts. I think this is to my opinion that if we tried it together, then you'd get to really know and contrast the difference between Shotokan and Wushu. But we'll give you a deal just for today. And we could even have, have a trial if you're willing. So we could actually have Wushu basics then we could go Shotokan all the way because I'm actually I could I should say I'm majored in Shotokan so that's it now maybe you could give us a brief introduction of the two like Shotokan and Wushu like what are the two okay so Shotokan is Shotokan Karate or maybe let's just say Karate because it has branches to Karate Shotokan Karate Dentokan Karate Taekwondo it, a lot and Kung Fu also has branches, Wushu, maybe Jit Kung Dao by, by Bruce Lee, all of that, you know. So Kung Fu is actually an origin of China, Chinese martial arts, and Karate is Japanese martial arts. So others claim one is superior than the other, but in the end, we all know this is just martial arts, just for your self-defense and your fitness. Fitness is the most important, plus we're in this era of the virus. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be fit. You, you be have fit. to fight the virus, man. <laughs> of course, yeah. of course. So, um, oh, and I should also make mention, the, the president of the student union at my school, just, so it's in Nangjo. Like, you know, we have, oh, yeah, yeah. if you need help, just come through to Zeus and you guys will get the help that you need. Oh, and as I was saying, the president of the student union here at my school, she also does martial arts so like she uh, of course she's a girl <laughs> oh come diesel. on see a yeah. girl can do this i think we can all do it if a girl is doing it diesel she's a girl right yeah like she's been doing this for a while actually. she's been doing it for a while so you me everyone we get to do this it doesn't matter whether you're big small old female or not we can all do this and we can keep fit i promise you this yeah so guys come keep fit with us and if you are thinking that i'm weak i'm changing my plans here. <laughs> next time you see me things will be different yeah things plans are changing different. so i am actually capable of teaching the shotokan karate and uh judging from the bell don't give too much assumptions this is only seventh to eighth q uh, i've been doing this for a long time and i'm supposed to actually be a senior you know but I can teach you and I can teach this at a very perfect level and your understanding would be broadened and you'd get to differentiate anything, your body would be much capable. This will help you, you know, even mentally, even with school life, you know, yeah. we have to balance these things. You're doing a little bit of physics and more of study. Yeah. Not all those study, study, study. You're redundant. Your, your body <laughs> might actually die, man. You have to keep up. <laughs> I get you. So that's the thing. Yeah. So we'll be opening a club very soon here at Zest and if you guys are interested just hit the like button, comment, let us know what you think about the entire thing and of this course. is from us, from Zest, we're here. <laughs>